Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get and where to get the Honorary Ring of Soon in Baldur's Gate 1. This ring is going to grant your Divine Spellcasters, aka your Priests, one extra spell slot for ranks 1 through 4 spells. So it is an extremely powerful ring, one of the best rings you can probably get in the game for your Spellcasters and you get it in the bottom of the Nashkel Mines. Specifically, you have to take out this guy who's about to approach my group right here, Mullahay. And uh, he is the big baddie of Chapter 2, the final boss of Chapter 2 that you're going to be fighting. And uh, let me just prepare my guys for the fight. I really wish Edwin wouldn't charge in like that, but... Let me put the people up top, and we're good to go. So, Mullahay is the guy who, uh... It doesn't matter if you accept if he yields or not. He's going to attack you again anyway after you investigate the chest. But like I said, he is the boss of Chapter 2. And you can see he dropped the Honorary Ring of Soon right here. And he also dropped the boots. And I have no idea what, uh... Oh, okay, he's feared. My, uh, Dorn was doing. He was running around like a chicken with his head cut off. So... Both of these items, specifically this honorary ring, is the one that I'm making the video for. And as you can see, memor can memorize one extra divine spell of each level from first to fourth. So, extra spell slots for ranks one through four. And uh, the other item he gives, Talos Gift, I recommend you hang on to this item. Uh, because it's going to be useful later on in a dungeon called Durlag's Tower. It's one of the later dungeons in the game. And uh, there's an event where... There's a lot of electricity, so it would be useful for you to have that. But anyway, that's really all there is to it. If you uh, lost this ring, you're kind of out of luck. Um, if you go back to this, like if you didn't pick up the ring, it'll probably have be it'll probably have despawned. Uh, I'm pretty sure magical items will despawn on the ground if left there long enough. And if you accidentally vendored this ring and you forget which vendor you sold it to, I'm not sure you can get it back either. So keep that in mind. Those are the downsides. Uh, of this of course but anyway that's really all there is to it i hope this video helped you guys out if it did be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out and uh feel free to subscribe to me too if you want more Baldur's gate one videos i will be doing quite a few of them over the next month um explaining a whole bunch of different items and quests throughout the game stick around for that if you want it otherwise see ya